Dream big. You can be whatever you want to be. Do whatever you want to do. If you just put your mind to it. We hear these things usually when we are young. From people who love us, who care deeply about us. From people who want what's best for us. Even if it is expressed in what we often call tough love. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَعَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيسٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ That he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has come to you from among your own selves. He was not a stranger to anyone or anything. He was contextual. Even the trees recognized his presence. He knew his people so well that even his enemies trusted him. Rasulullah had an incredible sense of empathy for those around him. He felt what they felt. He was in pain when they suffered and did what he could to alleviate it. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him cared. He was, as they say, the orphan that adopted the world. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is in this prophetic teaching that we should follow his footsteps. To be like Rasulullah, to be the mentor for someone in this world. Someone who plays the role of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Someone that holds your hand, helps you get on your feet. That's someone who cheers you on as you climb that hill. That's someone who helps you, supports you and guides you. That's someone who may even hurt your feelings at times, but only to bring out the best in you. That's someone who you can rely on, someone you can trust without a shadow of doubt. That's someone who will love and protect you for the sake of Allah. Be that someone who will celebrate your wins and grieve with you at your lowest moments. The Rasul wasallam had this kind of relationship with his family, his companions, and his community. always coming from a place of love and mercy. May we all be that someone to somebody.